லீகல் லெசன்ஸ் இன் பிஸ்னஸ் must things to adopt during running a business hire a lawyer for the below documentation sure it will cost a bit but you will save a lot in later stages of business have a service agreement with clients all employees of your firm should be bound by an employee contract create a cooperation agreement for business partners as fellow entrepreneurs we will give a quick guideline on the basic contents of each agreement you can personalize the each contract depending upon the mode of operations Hello everyone I am Pralika and you are watching Business Diaries This is our humble initiative from bits of our experience for all the entrepreneurs who wish to learn a bit more Today we are discussing about legal lessons that we experienced in our journey as an entrepreneur as always individual topics are time stamped having a service agreement we must include following contents in a service agreement give a detailed information on services you are offering to your clients this creates trust in between the clients and you payment terms should be elaborated in a certain way installment of agreed payments time of payment of agreed payments in case of delay how much fine will be imposed bank accounts of the company where amount should be transferred disclaimer it is to limit the responsibility of the company create a disclaimer according to the services you offer termination of agreement if client or company wants to terminate the agreement clear details should be given on how to terminate and when here is our pro tip insist your clients on going through the entire contract before signing the agreement even better you take your time to explain the contract in person and give enough time to go through the contract they are even welcome to take a legal advice from their trusted advisor before signing it contract is mutually benefited to both client and the company so importance of agreement should be well understood even after having a detailed service agreement often we face legal issues with the clients one of the most common scenario is not following the agreed payment terms some may not pay according to the contract as entrepreneurs it's our decision to allow the delay or not if it comes to the survival of the company we should not think twice to take any actions important thing to remember is payment terms are agreed by both parties and arranging funds according to the contract is client's job it may sound rude but imagine if we as entrepreneur delay some service that was promised in the contract for some reason the same client will not leave a single opportunity to send a legal notice in order to deliver the services following payment terms are crucial some will ignore this fact and will be unreasonable so delivering services is important to us and paying on time is important to clients legal lessons from our experience we have faced multiple lessons from clients over the signed agreements common mistakes clients do is they will not go through the agreement or they will go through it and then ignore our client filed an fir against us in india claiming we have cheated cheated is a common term they use for everything even if you don't reply to a call in the middle of the night then also it's cheating filed reason is client changed her mind about germany and wants the refund from the university here the logic is why should a consultant pay the course fee back as a consultant we have never received it but for client it doesn't matter even after explaining this to her family members to the police authorities and to our own lawyer 
it makes sense that we don't have to pay and she should request the university. We even suggested that we will assist in the procedure to claim the paid course fee but the client is stubborn and do not want to give anything in writing to the university. Finally, we had to pay lawyers, courts and even police officers some amounts for some case where we are not responsible for. At the end, we consider this as an experience and move on as being an entrepreneur. One more example is, a client has gone to visa interview with spring admission documents for an autumn intake and obviously the visa got rejected. Rejected by a common saying, you are not motivated enough to study in Germany and he applied for a refund by submitting the rejection letter. We wondered without issuing or sending him the admission letter, how did he get his visa rejection? When we tried to explain him, he was all like, hello madam, see my rejection, it's due to lack of motivation and not because of the admission letter. Clients leave us in absolute speechless situations that we don't know from where to start explaining. All these clients are graduates and not illiterates to talk like that. But despite of being honest, they play all sorts of victim cards and file cases. All these cases are dealt legally and we won. But the thing is, it's a lot of stress when you are not doing anything wrong in business. That's why documentation is extremely important. Employee contract. After making a decision to hire someone to your company, don't be in rush before making certain agreement. Probation. Add probation clause to the agreement. This gives us a chance to terminate an employee if you find any contradiction to your expectation. Client relationship policy. If any tasks of the employee is to communicate with your clients or your business partners, then add a policy which states that they cannot socialize or have a romantic relationship with any of them. In simple words, only professional relationship should be kept. How we benefited by drafting an employee contract? Often employees fake experiences and claims expertise in many tools. When they start working, it will be obvious and will be reflected in their working style. As employers, we should not even think twice and terminate them immediately using probation clause if the employee is not up to the mark. No need to go legally and punish the employee here and waste our time. Terminating itself will be a lesson to the employee. If you want to know how to terminate an employee, we have a video about it and we have given it in the description below. Cooperation agreement. Have an independent contract with all your business partners. Add following clauses in the agreement. All financial transactions should be made directly to the company's account. Without any written confirmation from the responsible person, no information should be discussed with the clients or employees. Non-disclosure agreement. Cooperation partner cannot take any confidential information from the company and cannot hire any of your employees. We faced a legal obligation from one of our cooperation partner from Germany. We have learned an expensive lesson in the first year of our establishment as GBR. Here, our cooperation partner has drafted an agreement and sent to us. We have gone through the contract and sent the agreement. Despite of having a signed agreement, we have come to a situation where our cooperation partner is not willing to start the promised services without 10 clients. Nine clients have received their visas and for some reason, 10th client will not be arriving on time. This is our first agreement in Germany and as beginning, we were fully confident and we wrote an email to our cooperation partner stating that we will pay for the 10th client and requested them not to cancel the course. We had two things in mind for writing like that. We are so obvious that 10th client's visa will arrive with some delay and we advised the client to cover the advanced lessons. 
and we thought when the 10th client pays the course fee we will get the fee back from our cooperation partner but surprisingly the 10th client did not get visa on time and we found another client with advanced knowledge on the subject to replace however the cooperation partner who was really nice till that point of our journey suddenly rejected the client's application stating it's their choice to accept or reject the client according to the contract later all clients suggested were rejected so we were obviously furious and wanted to not pay that for the 10th client if they were so rigid with their decision our cooperation partner did not accept any of our clients and sent invoices to clear the dues based on our email it went to legal level and we kept on fighting as it was inequitable for us but after one year of hope and legal battle we lost the case just because of one written statement in the mail we will pay for the 10th client we had to pay our lawyer fee our cooperation partner lawyer fee and also the pending dues with interest based on this experience we have learned following lessons having gmbh is better and you can save your private assets during a legal battle never ever write or admit to anything without going through all facts just out of your good nature it is as good as an agreement and it can and will be used against you in the later stage having legal insurance has helped us in a great way in our cases soon we will make a detailed video on the same don't think whether it's worth to start a company or be an entrepreneur by these examples our aim is to prepare all the entrepreneurs for the obstacles that may come during their journey to success these should be considered as lessons to become a strong successful entrepreneur we sure become strong and mature when it comes to making a decision about our company we cannot run a successful company without being strong we hope you have learned something new today and keep watching business stories how feeders in